Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally doing my volume three of the best and worst black lipsticks. I absolutely love buying, testing, wearing black lipsticks, and volumes one and two of the series are some of my most viewed and most popular videos on my channel, so I was so excited to like explore, buy some more, test them out to do a volume three. If you missed volumes one and two, I believe I've done one like every October for the last two years. I'll have those linked up in the cards and down in the description box and in the pinned comment down below. So in these black lipstick videos and other colors, I actually have a best and worst of red lipsticks and a best and worst of green lipsticks as well. I'll have that linked down below. I just really like colored lipsticks, <laughs> but black is my all-time favorite. So in these videos, I go through, I swatch each lipstick, I tell you about it, and give my recommendation on whether or not I think you should pick the lipstick stick up. I have like four pages of notes in here because I thoroughly test these lipsticks out. Most of these I've bought within the last four to six months and take, I take a long time to really test them and tell you what I think is going to be the best and also the best based on what you want it for. Are you looking for like a good long-lasting black lipstick to wear for a full day? Are you looking for a comfortable lipstick to wear for a costume now that we're in spooky season or any time of the year? I've got you covered. So with all of that out of the way, Let's jump straight in. I have 11 lipsticks to share with you guys. So for this video, I believe like my others, I've split my lipsticks up. I'm gonna be doing the bullet lipsticks first and then going into liquid lipsticks. Personally, I prefer liquid lipsticks, but I've found like some really good bullet black lipsticks over the years. So I'm not gonna, you know, discount a lipstick just because it's a bullet, bullet version. The first lipstick I'm going to be talking about is technically a, a disqualification. <laughs> and this is the NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Alien. This was disqualified because I bought, so I bought this, let me talk about how I bought this. I bought this through Ulta's website, so I, I believe I purchased this on Ulta.com with a couple of other lipsticks, and I really didn't do anything to this lipstick. <laughs> I got it in the mail. I, it was perfectly fine the way it used, like the way it arrived. I applied it a few times and it wasn't really the best. It smelled bad and it wasn't pigmented. But after like a month, and I haven't been like throwing this lipstick around or anything, right? I've just had it literally in my everyday makeup basket. It completely broke. Like the entire tip is broken off and like it's, if I push it up too far, it'll fall right out because it just, it completely broke on me. So between the fact that it was hard to apply, not pigmented, smells bad, and broke, stay far, far away from this bullet lipstick from NYX, and it's just unfortunately a dud all around. Next, we have a bullet lipstick from Maybelline, and this one I picked up at a CVS a couple of months ago. It was actually in stock, which is shocking. Normally, at my local drugstores, they do have, like, some outlandish colors for lipsticks, but they're almost never in stock. So I happened to be in a CVS, and I saw this one in stock, and I was like, I have to pick this up. So this is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade 845 Pitch Black. And... Unfortunately, kind of like the NYX lipstick, this was not pigmented, applied terribly, and also smelled and tasted weird. I specifically put tasted weird because while the previous lipstick smelled weird, it didn't taste weird. This one did. I did not, I did not enjoy wearing this. I did not like wearing this. Oh, it smells like burnt plastic. I don't know. Oh, oh close it, close it, close it. We're going to see a theme here through quite a few of these affordable lipsticks. They all smell odd, which is strange because I've gone through a lot of black lipsticks and I've never seen really any of them like smell and taste weird. So I don't know if maybe they're bad, like if the store had them for too long, because all of these I've purchased within the last six months. So I do want to say that I know I purchased them fairly recently. But there's a lot of these affordable lipsticks that are just off, and this is one of them. It smelled bad, it tasted bad, please stay far, far away from this Maybelline lipstick. Speaking of affordable lipsticks that smell bad, thankfully this doesn't taste bad, but it still smelled bad. And this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in shade 830 Black. Now, this one, again, it was another one where I just happened to be at a drugstore where this was in stock, so I picked it up. Again, this smells weird. It smells like a like candy that's gone bad. It's, it's not great. So anyway, so this one had a weird consistency to it where it felt oily. <laughs> this 
was super sheer and not pigmented at all. It smells bad, like I mentioned before. And it was hard to apply because of how oily it felt. Like, I felt like this probably should have been, like, a lip balm or something. Like, having it this dark, I don't know. It was weird. It felt like trying to put on a lip, like a lip slick. It was weird. It was, it was so strange. I could not get a good lip line. I did not get a good application. It looked sheer. It felt terrible. Like, it felt like putting olive, no, no, olive oil feels good on your lips. <laughs> it felt like putting oil, straight up like not good oil on your lips. It was the strangest thing I think I've ever experienced and <laughs> I would not recommend it. I really wouldn't. So, uh, unfortunately, this is another affordable bullet lipstick that is just like, why? Fear not, though. There is one bullet lipstick that is affordable that works fantastic, and it's this one. This is the Sephora Lip Stories lipstick in the shade 44. So this is the Sephora makeup brand lipstick. And these lipsticks are typically between eight and nine dollars through Sephora. And you can find them on sale sometimes too. And this one has a cute little pug on the packaging. I love these packagings. They do feel a little cheap because they are cardboard, but I understand that they had to like make the packaging cheaper to make the lipsticks as affordable as they are to keep them under, um, ten dollars but that being said the packaging still works and it still looks nice like it's really pretty looking packaging it doesn't look cheap and once you open it up and stick the lipstick up it's functional it's totally functional it looks really nice actually so i can't um dis like i don't know point them off for using like cardboard packaging but it works it works this, according to my notes, this was way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. And you can see that in the application. It's super pigmented, super comfortable, and it has a satin finish. So this is not, of course, transfer proof because it is a bullet lipstick. It does have a satin finish. This is perfect for long day wear if you do not mind reapplying. You will definitely have to reapply this, especially after eating and or drinking. I did wear this through lunches, through some dinners, and it definitely wore off in the inner lip area. The lip line actually surprisingly stayed fairly intact, but I did apply it again in these kind of inner areas. That being said, it does reapply well on top of itself. You'll see that sometimes, especially when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Not all lipsticks will reapply well on top of itself. Sometimes you have to take a lipstick off completely and then put it back on. This one, you can just keep reapplying it and it looks fantastic. It smells like nothing and it tastes like nothing, which is fantastic. That's what I expect, <laughs> to be quite honest, out of a lipstick. The only caveat I do have to this lipstick is that sometimes if you're not super careful and once this nib starts to wear down, it will be hard to get a sharp lip line. So I would recommend either getting a black lip liner or a trick that I absolutely love using is taking a liquid lipstick if you happen to have it and using that as a lip liner before applying your bullet lipstick. Now keep in mind, I say use a black liquid lipstick. Do not use an eyeliner as a lip liner because you do not know if that's lip safe. So please, do not do that. I've seen some like Pinterest photos and like tips and tricks about that. You don't know if those eyeliners are lip safe. So unless an eyeliner specifically says it's lip safe, please do not use it as a lip liner. <laughs> please do not. So yes, out of all the bullet lipsticks that I've tried, especially the affordable ones, the go-to and the recommendation for now is the Sephora Lip Stories one. And again, this is in the shade 44. I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but of course I will have all the lipstick full names and shade names down in the description box below. Um, people have asked me why I don't link the lipsticks, because, but I don't link them because sometimes I've seen things sell out or go out of stock where I link them, like, as soon as the video goes up. So I have the full name in the description box. My recommendation is to just take that and literally copy and paste it into Amazon or in Google or in Ulta just to see, like, where it's available. I will say, all of these lipsticks I have bought either at a local CVS or Walgreens, on Amazon, or at Sephora slash Ulta. That's where I got all of these. All right, so next, I believe we have the last bullet lipstick, and that is from Fenty. So this is the Fenty Matte Moselle Lipstick in Effin Black. And of course, this is the full size. So this is the just black version of, <laughs> of the uh, Matte Moselle <laughs> lipstick. And of course, I did get some comments about this in my last video, why I like show it over my forehead as opposed to like over here. I am pale and so this is like the white background where it's like here, you can see it on my forehead because it's so bright. Because <laughs> if I show you it over here, you're not going to see it. 
<laughs> you're really not so like that's why I kind of show things on my forehead so according to my notes like the name states this is a super matte lipstick it is really dark and pigmented but it's actually really uncomfortable for long-term wear my recommendations for this lipstick it actually is a decent lipstick but it is really matte so if you're okay with dealing with like a super super matte lipstick then go for it this is going to be a fantastic lipstick for you because it is really super pigmented but if you can't stand that like dry lip feeling like I can't, my recommendations are to either wear this for short term use, i.e. only wearing this for a photo, putting it on, taking a selfie, and that's it. Or, like I mentioned before, use this as your lip liner. So just take a lip brush, take a little bit of it, and use it to outline your lips before you go in with a different, either a liquid lipstick or a bullet lipstick. Because this is actually going to be fantastic for that because it will dry down, it will hold in place, and it is super pigmented. I do have to mention though for the Fenty, just because I am not wearing it long term on its own, I do not think it's really worth that full price because they are pretty expensive from Sephora. So we are finally going to get into the liquid lipsticks and the first liquid lipstick I have for you is from Carity. This is the Carity liquid lipstick in the shade Vinyl. Now, according to my notes, this is a super pigmented formula that feels really, really, like, ew and uncomfortable when you first apply it. So it feels really, like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels very, like, weird and meh until it dries down. Once it's fully dried down, then it feels like a really decent lipstick. It is really pigmented and has a fantastic wand applicator. Like, this is a little bit longer than your typical liquid lipstick applicator, and it has a really nice, tiny doe foot. Nothing just pisses me off more than a doe foot that is oversized on a lipstick applicator, especially on a dark lipstick applicator, because you need to make that nice, crisp lip line in order for this to look decent. And personally, I don't like using um, lip brushes. If I can avoid using a lip brush, I will. And so I love it when I see a nice applicator like this one and it's a nice tiny doe foot that gets me the perfect cupid's bow application every time so now the downside to this it is really comfortable but this is not fantastic for long-term wear especially if you're going to be eating drinking or talking a lot this is really prone to butthole lip i'm not really getting butthole lip now but it's when like you basically do this almost like a butthole like it, it gets like dry and creepy and like and it's not great and unfortunately with this formula it doesn't apply well on itself so if you were to have to reapply this lipstick you would have to take everything off and then reapply which is a pain in the butt especially with such a dark shade like this so again i think this is one i would recommend to use as a lip liner as opposed to a, an all-day wear lipstick but for short-term wear you know anything less than four hours and if you're not eating or drinking this is actually not a bad option Next, we have another uh, Rimmel lipstick. Unfortunately, it's also not fantastic. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade 840 Pitch Black. Now, uh, this is really not a great choice, and I actually wrote that in my notes. This is not pigmented. It's sh basically sheer. It's matte, and it's really, really uncomfortable. I hate how chunky the formula is. Whenever I open this up, I end up with like a little bit of a chunky residue on the end of the doe foot, and it's just not great at all. <laughs> this also smells and tastes bad. Again, this is one of those liquid lipsticks. Ugh, it's it smells like paint thinner. I don't know what it is. Ugh. Maybe this one, I don't think it's, I mean, I literally, I think I bought this only like three months ago, and it just, yikes. Yikes, man. So yeah, it's unfortunately a, a no for me just because of how bad the application was and how bad this smells and tastes. Just just avoid the, honestly, avoid the Rimmel lipsticks. I don't know what is up with them. Okay, so I have four lipsticks left. And I have to say, the rest of these are fantastic and I really would recommend any of these. Coming in next, we have the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Alien. So I believe that's kind of the same as the, I, you know what, I'm not a, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that when they name their bullet lipstick shades the same as their liquid lipstick shades, but anyway, this is actually so much better than the bullet lipstick version. I love the applicator on this. It's not a doe foot. It's like a, an oval, a squoval. It's a squoval, and it's basically flat with a tiny bit of an angle. I don't know if you can see that. This made the application super easy and nice. 
I believe this is the most pigmented drugstore find. So the most pigmented affordable lipstick. This is your winner. Like I said, this is uh, super easy to apply. This feels super comfortable. It is a, a satin finish. I believe they call it a suede. I would call it a satin finish. It feels really nice on the lips, but you have to keep in mind this is not transfer proof. And you're going to have to probably reapply this if you're going to be talking a lot or if you're going to be eating or drinking. This does smell a tiny bit off. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't even explain it. It smells a tiny bit off, but not like to the point where I wouldn't use it. You know, it just smells like a weird kind of lipstick. <laughs> uh, but I had to make that note just because there are so many lipsticks in this list for some reason that just smelled completely strange and off. So there you go. This is something I would really recommend if you were looking for a lipstick for a cosplay or for a costume because it is super comfortable. It's easy to reapply if you need to keep this on the go with you and this is affordable and it's huge packaging so you've got a lot of lipstick with like in here to work with so yeah so the best affordable pigmented black lipstick on this list i would either go with the sephora bullet lipstick or this nyx liquid suede this next lipstick is from menagerie cosmetics and this is the menagerie velvet lipstick in the shade cricket I have to say I love the packaging on this. Unfortunately though, the uh, the logo and the name will wear off on the side. So I am glad that they put the actual name of the lipstick on the very bottom on like an actual sticker. This lipstick is in my top five of all time for comfortability, if that's a word. It's super comfortable. I really love how this feels on the lips. This is also super lightweight. So this is lightweight. It's really pigmented to the point where I almost feel like I'm not wearing anything. But that could also be dangerous because you need to be mindful when you're wearing a black lipstick. This is also unfortunately another one. The downside is you have to keep an eye out for butthole lip. You can easily get butthole lip with this. Uh, but the upside is that this one you can reapply on top. So if you are looking for long term wear and you're going to be eating, drinking, talking a lot and you don't mind reapplying it, go for the menagerie one. So we are now down to my final two liquid lipsticks. The next lipstick we're talking about is from Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics. And this is the Mystic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rune. And this is one of my favorites of all time. This is incredibly pigmented, super comfortable, like to the point where like I don't think I'm wearing a lipstick or even a lip balm. It just feels really lightweight and nice on the lips. Also, the applicator on this is fantastic. Again, I, like, like I said before, I love a tiny little doe foot. That is fantastic for getting a nice crisp lip line, especially with a formula so pigmented. The only downside to this is that I don't have it right now because I just opened it and mix, mix it around, but this is a formula that easily separates within the container. Like it separates within a day of not using it. So unfortunately, like for me, I don't know if that's just like a sign of the formula or if that's a sign that this might not last as long as like some other lipsticks. I've had this one for I think some of the longest, like about six months. I don't smell it going off or anything. Yeah, it still smells fantastic. Actually, this is actually one of the only lipsticks that smells really good. <laughs> it smells delicious. Actually, it smells like cupcakes. So I haven't smelled this going off. It doesn't apply any different. It doesn't look any different. But because of the way it separates within the tube, I'm not sure if it's going to go quicker than any other lipsticks. But that's like the only downside. The rest is fantastic. If you're looking for a good, you know, everyday, good, strong, uh, transfer proof lipstick, uh, this is your go to. It's fantastic. Last but certainly not least, the lipstick that I am wearing in the main video today. This is the Kindness Vegan Beauty with Kate with Vegan Kindness Liquid Lipstick. This is probably one of the most recommended to me lipstick formulas and I waited until like I was comfortable buying from the brand. Um, if you don't know, the controversy behind KVD Beauty was because Kat Von D had a history of like horrible anti-Semitic and anti-vax behavior and she was really promoting an anti-vax and anti-science worldview just through her platform which is totally incredibly stupid. I'm sorry. If you are for some reason on my channel and you're anti-vax and anti-Semitic, just get, get, the, get, get the fuck out of here. Just, I don't know what you're doing here. Anyway, because of that, actually, I believe it was Kendo. This is a brand that's owned by Kendo. Um, they actually like bought her out of the brand. So completely. So as of, I don't know exactly when, I'll link some resources down below, but as of a while ago, she has no stake, no say, no nothing in the brand anymore. It's just taking them a lot longer to rebrand than we thought they would. We were kind of hoping that they would make everything go on sale and then rebrand and do di different branding and everything. And they also lost a, 
a great name opportunity. They named it, like, I don't even know the official name anymore because we were all just making fun of the name for so long. <laughs> it's Kindness Vegan Beauty with Vegan Kindness to me. That's just what I'm calling it from now on. But that being said, I don't want to make fun of them too hard because they literally did what everyone asked them to do. They got her out of the company. They're trying to rebrand and do different things. And I, I want to support that. I want to support companies moving in the direction that they should be moving in which is why I picked this up and a few other things. I got the foundation and I really want to pick up a couple of the blushes as well. So that being said, this is a fantastic lipstick. It's really, really good for everyday long wear, especially when you're going to be talking a lot. I've been talking for like an hour so far for this video. My lips feel comfortable. It looks good as far as I can see now on camera. Who knows how it's going to look when I edit this, but it looks really good right now. It looks fantastic in pictures just fantastic something I've noticed so this is the longest lipstick that I've tried so far for this series and I actually really like the long applicator this makes it so easy and precise I believe this is the quickest yet most precise application I've ever done I think in the application video it took me like 20 seconds max to get a nice perfect application of this and I think it's because of the nice tiny doe foot and the long wand it's just dun, 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 done. Fantastic. Again, this really doesn't smell like anything, which is what I expect out of a lipstick. And this dries down super quickly. So you're not sitting here fanning it, waiting for it to dry down. It's super comfortable. I, I am happy that I waited until I was comfortable buying from the brand to buy this, but I love this. And I, you know what? I want to try all the other colors in this formula because this is fantastic. So there we have it. Those are all of the lipsticks for my best and worst of black lipsticks volume three. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there are any lipsticks that I missed in volumes one, two, and three that you want to see me include in volume four, please let me know down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please feel free to tag me, DM me, either of those platforms. I love hearing about more black lipsticks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.